Hello Diamonds and welcome back to Echo Bean. So over the time we have few new buildings around. So people are slowly moving in. We have big forests in the city, which we will keep until we need to remove everything. So we might only cut them out to make the streets. So it's kinda nice. I like how it looks. And I have a small building where I can do all my selling and buying stuff. I mean, at the moment, only selling. So I have my farmer's table for making seeds. It's kind of important. I come in. Uh, let me quickly see. I don't have any tomatoes. That's interesting. I might need to make more tomato seeds. Let's see. I need say 50 seeds let's get working on that yeah I have a few tomatoes ready nicely and at the moment we don't have a cook online but it should be on soon so and probably demand for all the veggies will go up as well and yeah I'm also doing the wheat so now it's finally ready there's a lot of work. I was also making uh, the research papers that uh, I could uh, sell to the government. Now they have enough for quite a while. I think even though this looks ready, yeah, it's not ready yet. Kind of shameful. But yeah. So it has been quite interesting slow starts. I mean, I don't mind the slowness at the beginning, kind of useful, but yeah, so need to get a bit better at everything. Ah, it's not, not ripe enough, okay. So yeah, for the, uh, all the research papers, I literally dug a hole under the building. It's also nice for another re reason. So I can put a lot of stuff underground. I can make a residence there. So yeah, I had to dig out a little bit dirt. Dirt is kind of required for that. Uh, it's kind of fun. Yeah, some crops did just die, unfortunately. Just this status, good. Yeah, it's it's quite a bit of work, and I was also running around, getting more veggies. I went to the jungle area, and yeah, it's a little bit far, but it's doable. Yeah, much better. I still have few here. So yeah, under here I have small staircase which ends unnicely in the pile but yeah downstairs I have one stockpile at the moment actually I think I can finally move the other one here two storage chest let's move this here I can okay I have to put my hammer in the right place as well I totally forgot that I was moving everything around so <laughs> my hammer was a different location so now finally all the storage is downstairs except uh, the chest so pretty much the next goal is to make enough space downstairs that I can put the chest there so leaving only the shop space above the ground and possibly also all the tables and the tiny fire it needs to go downstairs as well then we can allocate all this area for farming and ideally I want to put like fence around it so it's a little bit separated even though we don't really have good material for fence so when we use the hewn log then we can use either the ladder style or other ways we need to make simple wall either way it doesn't look the best 
heavy slumber you can do it properly so I might need to wait until that's the thing and the otherwise yeah I also need to clean up some of the streets again the tree starts to grow just in front of my building so I need to keep at least a shop entrance empty and yeah more hewn logs for the building definitely Let's, let me actually see if, if we can have any of the tools for the roads. So it was the road tool. There's none available at the moment. So, otherwise I would make this area myself. But for that we need basic engineer. And well, I can learn it like in 12 hours. But is it really necessary? It's the question yeah. and yeah most of the plots in the city are now taken which is good some areas are quite big some less so and yeah in the city center I can go and buy a lot of land frame papers because I'm quite sure I have plenty available so if we check down here, I can get 40. It's 4 zero. It's a lot of tokens that are available for me. Does it even show here? Oh, yeah. I got 5 tokens for. I'm, I'm not sure what reason. Yeah, it's kind of unknown. And 25 because I got the speciality in uh, in the farming so that I do know but the five not sure why I was given first login gives you 10 yeah so that's how I got my 40 so. so yeah but there's no value in the land claims so I was actually thinking that I need some type of farm in the uh, in the jungle so that's pretty much what I need to do. So I will need to get quite a few of those. Uh, maybe 10 is enough. I'll just take those to go and make my farm in the jungle. I will also need some tools. Yes. So I need some whetstones. The whetstones, where can we get? The wood ones are only buying, but stone ones are selling. That's a little bit difficult because, well, the tool that I want to use uses the wooden ones. Yeah. I need to kind of carve some stuff. So yeah, wooden hoe. So I will need to get first a little bit more wood. And I will make second one as well. So order, order two more. And I will quickly go and grab some wood from grown up trees. I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, now ready. I have three fully prepared wooden hoes. I also repaired some of my other tools like my axe and, and sickle. So we can definitely do a lot of work. I also fixed my shovel in case we need to move around some dirt. And I have all my 11 land claims because I had still one left in, in my pockets. I, I took this one as well. And yeah, from this version, like the 9.6, you can no longer use the land claim papers directly to claim land. I remember before I didn't even need the stake, so I could just select the paper and use it, but now I have to get the stake available, or like take it out and use it. But yeah, so we need to go to the jungle. And jungle is over here. I see there's a lot of 
wood cutting going on in uh, this area. Probably a lot of wood pulp as well that I want to collect later. But we need to find some good flat land in this area. Maybe in this corner. Yeah, I think this area is the best. Yeah. So I'll put down a marker. It's a little bit too far. Because, yeah, it's difficult to determine where the center is, but yeah. Yeah, I have it now up. It's 300 meters away. Quite a way. Maybe I need to take a little bit food as well, so let me see what they have in the supermarkets or food corner. Nothing. It's all sold out, unfortunately, so we need to eat whatever we find in the forests during that time. Uh, I hope that Spresix will be online soon and we can get good foods. You see, I did try three different food items from the campfire cooking and they were all quite nice. It's, it's now time to wait everything else. I can see people do not clean up after themselves really often. I don't understand why. And yeah, even though there is no incentive monetary way, then I still clean it up because I get the wood pulp, which I can turn into mortar and then just sell it to whoever needs it. Let's get quickly out of the desert area. We can go up here. And there is this server, it sometimes makes the visual side lag behind a lot. And I'm not sure exactly why. No pineapples. I'm not right there yet. Because yeah, before I went through here and collected a lot of them. But yeah, so the area what we want to use is down there. Let's get to the place. We need to probably land few trees. But yeah, so I'm thinking about maybe three by three. Would make quite a bit of sense. So one to three this way and then that way. So now we have this one set. I will come to this view and it's much easier to select with the map editor. And yeah, this is how it now looks like. We need to get rid of few trees, which are in here. I have to dug up few rooms and then then get everything into field form, which will take a while, I guess. So yeah, I will do this boring job behind the scenes and then. Once I have everything done, then I'll be back. Okay, I think I have now set it up. So all the trees that were inside, I just put them as a as the wall at the moment. So later on, I I hope to have bit bit better wall system and also to move the wood out of here. And I noticed that even the uh, three wooden hoes isn't enough because each of the squares that I'm making is 36 and yeah it's it's quite big and I don't know I somehow managed to already go through <laughs> two of them very quickly and yeah I don't even have enough seats so, so yeah it's kind of simple small farm plot and once I get the road tool, then I can put the roads inside 
in the middle. So it's kind of like separated corners. I have papayas in one corner, pineapples. Uh, I need to put taros in this corner. At the moment, I have no seeds, so can't do anything. And then all the mushrooms in this corner. So this way it's a bit more organized, I guess. Yeah, of course, I'm hungry. So yeah. So I hope that it makes it much easier for me to deal with everything here. Hopefully, making a bit more. yeah so this is pretty much the plan of the jungle farm but it's just quite simple one nothing extreme and i would probably need to make some other farms in different biomes can i really just barely finish it off yeah i think i should be able to finish it off because it's 75 uh, oh but i'm not sure how it calculates let's see it says currently I have 22 left and now I have 22 left huh. okay it seems to be about but yeah, sometimes it's a little bit bugged it seems <laughs> so yeah I need to get a bit more of all the spores and what not so it will be quite a bit of running around and gathering those things i guess because yeah i want it to be nice and usable and probably i need to get a few a few of the taros as well so let's see i need to bring out my shovel any terra seeds doesn't seem so finally few i have some available it's good definitely helps to make this area more natural immediately Any more we'll of course take pineapples and papayas as well so Actually, I can't because <laughs> not enough storage. Okay, oh, let's head back. So yeah, I set up uh, the I set up the marker to be right in the middle. So hopefully, it helps me to navigate. And I also set it in a way that uh, it shows from like did I set like hundred fifty meters? So yeah. It should it should be quite pleasant so it doesn't really come up all the time only when it's really needed let's put, put a few towers down lovely yeah so i don't want it to be like visible all the way from our main area in the city just it wouldn't make much sense I think I can fish the, uh, finish the mushrooms and I have pineapples as well nice so yeah I will I will definitely gather more and try to get it filled up if I can if not then it works and yeah so the jungle farm I said yeah 150 the max distance to show so yeah should be easier this way when we are in main area we don't need to see the farm location but yeah we'll definitely get a few more stuff planted here and hopefully by the next episode we have some other skill that we can utilize i want to also finish building our our house because there's only one rental available which is very expensive it's 15 per hour and I don't feel comfortable enough with that cost at the moment because it literally would be 20 hours and we are out of money. So I will definitely need to spend a bit more time to make good income 
and then we can afford rental or we just go ahead and and build our own house which of course is probably more easy to to handle as we don't need to pay every hour some fee to someone else but yeah i will leave this video right here i hope it was enjoyable and i will see you in two days in the next episode